They live up to the name, that's for sure. You definitely need two hands for that one. Pause. No pause. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Comete Algo. I am your host Kevin Lopez. Free my boy Alejandro Caruso. He didn't do anything. It's legal. Some places. For today, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I know we've been doing a lot of chicken and stuff like yeah. that. Went ahead and went with something that we haven't done before. Yeah. Beef. <laughs> <laughs> we found this place and the name alone. Yeah. Pretty sus. This is like our most sus episode ever. <laughs> so we went to Two Hands Soul Fresh Corn Dogs. It's pretty much an, an Asian inspired corn dog place. Yeah. I want to say. I like the different styles. Kind of gives a little more of a variety of choices instead of just your old basic uh, corn dog. We got five different corn dogs that we're going to try out and give you guys our feedback so then you guys can go ahead and try it yourselves. They live up to the name, that's for sure. You definitely need two hands for that one. Pause. No pause. So for the first one, we decided to go with the potato slash mozzarella corn dog. Yeah, inside filling. That's the great thing about this place. You get to choose what you want inside. Yeah, so as you guys can see already from here, we got the potatoes going all around the bread. And on the inside, it's supposed to be pure mozzarella cheese. So it's basically hot dog and fries. So yeah, they gave us a good amount of number of sauces. I know this one's probably gonna be yeah. ranch, but the yeah. other ones... This is like... This thousand? Thousand Island something, maybe? And this then, one's still, the, the one, one I don't know. know. Yeah. Like, they didn't tell us which one's supposed to go with which, so I think it's just like a free-for-all. I think they just threw it in there. Like, some people like different stuff. Again, yeah. they threw condiments in there, too. But so, so this is potatoes. I'm gonna start with ketchup. Okay. Uh, but with mozzarella inside? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with ranch. Alright, dip that. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, damn. I'm not skipping on the cheese, bro. No. Yeah. Better than I expected. Cheese. And then I taste the fries, too. It's a good little mix between the breading. I don't know how they do it with the mozzarella inside. That, that would be pretty interesting to like. Yeah, watch. it's deep fried. like. And I like how it's not fall the little potatoes are not falling off. Oh no, those things are stuck in there. Mm -hmm. So this place has like a, a good number of uh, locations. Mm -hmm. Lakewood, Koreatown, which is the one that we went to, Northridge, and I think there's a, a little kiosk at the Stonewall Mall. Yeah, you were saying that how you saw it. I'm like, I've never seen it. I've been to Stonewall Mall multiple yeah. times. But yeah, like I said, fairly new. And let's not forget, we brought stuff to wash it down with. That's true. We got an horchata slushy, which it was slushy at one point. And a, is this supposed to be a slushy lemonade? It's a tad bit much on the cinnamon, but not exaggerated. Okay. It's just a little extra. Would you order it again? Nah, I'll just go with a regular drink. Uh, for the second one, we went with one that kind of caught Pedro's eye. I call it the Hot Cheeto Corn Dog. I mean, what else could we call it? I mean, I'm pretty sure it has its proper name with the food place. And then to help out with it, for Pages Delight, we got the Dirty Fries? Dirty Fries. Yes. And let alone it's it's Tater Tot, so that just speaks to Pages. double win. So that was the top. Tots are cool. Like, the Hot Cheetos on doesn't really make a difference on it. Like, there's more Tots than anything, which is good. This is beef inside, so. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Oh, okay. The hot dog is really, really good. It's kind of like what you said, the, the hot Cheetos aren't really huge on yeah, it. Yeah, like, somehow they washed the hot Cheeto and like, they took off the sauce because this does not have a kick. I mean, Although they have the option of putting it a uh, spicy hot dog instead. So you got like a regular hot dog and the spicy one. Like I said, everybody got their own style. But either way, the hot dog is really good. Yeah. Speaking of different styles or trends, is there like a food trend or food norm that you're not like big on? Besides caramel, everybody in the world knows you don't like caramel. Yeah, the piece of shit thing. No, right now the trend that I do not get and I do not want to try is the watermelon with mustard. Ah, I'm okay off that. I've heard some people have tried it and they said it's pretty. Yeah, good. some say it's good. I've seen others where they're like, "Nah, fuck, you got me fucked up." Like, yeah. I think I'd be curious just to try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be down, man. Try and do like a little IG or like on Twitch. By the way, follow us on Twitch if you haven't done that yet. We're on our road to affiliate. I'd be down to do it like on stream. Be like, hey, I'll give you a live reaction, so oh, I won't be able okay. to cap or anything. But I need watermelon. I already got mustard, but I need watermelon. <laughs> How about you? Where's one something that like, I guess you don't see the point of? I'm kind of over people trying to put hot Cheetos on everything. Like, I get it. Like, some people like hot Cheetos. I get it. Maybe you want to put it on some stuff, but everybody is trying to put hot Cheetos on every single thing now, bro. 
What's next? Hot Cheetos and cereal? Pretty sure. Hot Cheetos on conchas coming. Yeah. Hot Cheeto mazapans coming. I get it. Hot Cheetos can make some things better, but it doesn't make everything better. Yeah, like I've had Hot Cheetos in a burrito and that's just cool. But I've also had Hot Cheetos with pizza and that's like, nah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just something that I just think is kind of overrated. I mean, whoever has been following this since the beginning knows I'm not a huge on Hot Cheetos already, but. As I said, you're not a big fan, but I yeah. agree with you to a certain extent. Like, yeah, it just yeah, has to be on it everything. It has to be on everything. That's all I ask. Don't put it on everything, bro. For the third one, I'm assuming we're going with the classics. One right down the middle. The one we can make? <laughs> this yeah. is the best judgment? I'm gonna try it out with, I'm assuming this is a uh, Thousand Island, but I can't be too sure. Yeah, I'm gonna try it with whatever this is. I have no idea. You'll let me know. All right, so. Dip it. Not bad. Here's mine. It kind of tastes like Thousand Island, but it's got like their own little twist on it. There's not like Chipotle. Mm -mm. No. I mean, it's good, but it's got like a little kick to it too. I don't know how to explain it. Is it like spicy Thousand oh. Island? Maybe. I'm gonna try that now. So what do you mean? There's yeah, like right? something different about it. I just don't know what it is. I do see red, red spots in there. Took it out of the stick because it's <clears throat> better for dipping. It's definitely better. Now, I know some of y'all could fit the whole thing in your mouth. Are you saying we have very skilled viewers? Absolutely. I believe in y'all. It's like Thousand Island. You pretty much put some banana pepper uh, juice in the Thousand Island. That's what it is. And I think it's pretty good. I, think I it's like that favorite. twist. It's my favorite. Yes. Spicy Thousand Island. I never thought of it, but I like it. Yeah. Speaking of uh, spicing things up, one of our boys from the Los Angeles Lakers, Alex Caruso, had a little run-in with the law. Which in California wouldn't have been a deal at all. Not at all. Really, they probably would have stopped it for autographs. Alex Russo did get arrested for possession, for of, possession marijuana. Of, of marijuana. Texas. What the fuck are y'all doing? You, you could just walk around anywhere you want with your fucking gun open, but have a little bit of grass on you. Oh no, that you, you, you cross the line. It just kind of shows you how different uh, each state is with their laws. I mean, your priorities are. I feel like. It's a good amount of the southern states that still don't allow marijuana. Yeah. Possession of marijuana. Of course, he, uh, Caruso was released and everything. All of that should get handled soon. I don't think it's going to be a huge deal. Hopefully it's not. And shout out to Caruso. Keep enjoying your life, man. Yes, sir. And we hope to see you next season on the team. Keep doing your, your Phil Jackson method, sir. It works. So as you guys can see for our last one, we still got two corn dogs left. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put our... Mouth to the test. One by one. <laughs> I know most of you are getting hyped up, but sorry. Yeah. Scratch to my only fast you want that. So we got the Angelimi dog and we have the rice dog. Both very different style of corn dogs. I'm gonna go with ranch since I haven't touched it <clears> all <throat> episode. I'm just gonna go regular. I'm not gonna, gonna go, go raw. Yep. I'm not a big fan of this one. What? Whatever that is. I don't like it. Well, what do you taste? I don't know, but I, I don't like it. It's bean powder. Bean? Mm hmm You don't like beans? I do, but I wouldn't want it with my hot dog. So apparently what Pedro didn't like was that they sprinkled on some bean powder? Yeah. Cool. Whatever, man. I'd work with it. Um, See, I don't like the aftertaste of it. Ah. Try it by itself, maybe? Because maybe the, the rash threw it off? No, like, no, I did buy it by itself. I don't think there's anything wrong. I didn't like it. Since we're moving on from that other one. Yeah. This one's, I guess you could say, the most unique one visually. Yeah. It's just basically Rice crispy on a hot dog. Right? That's what the, from the look of it. We'll taste it right now. Oh, that's a different texture for sure. Crunchy as hell. It definitely tastes the Rice Krispies. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. I wouldn't get this one either. Usually the breading and like the the hot dog sausage would like kind of overtake this one overpowers it it's like a very different texture too it's not like a i want to say cardboard <laughs> give me those vibes but i'm gonna aftertaste too you know when you you just eat kicks like just kick it by itself terrible you don't put no banana or nothing like it's literally just kicks yeah anyways enough talk well Enough eating. <laughs> Let's start talking. So those who follow us on social media, if you follow me personally on my IG or if you follow Pedro on, on Snap, everything's down in the description, of course. 
And uh, I remember I posted once on the Cometa Algo IG account of uh, kind of like reviewing food that like stadiums. Both very familiar with uh, stadiums and uh, would gladly kind of want to travel and like maybe check out other stadiums on their food. Nice. Which is why we're going to talk about our San Diego experience when we want to go watch the LA Dodgers play against the San Diego Padres mm -hmm. in San Diego. Besides the trip, just once we got to Petco Park, what were like your initial thoughts of the stadium? Fuck the Padres. <laughs> It's very nice. Can't handle the architecture of it. Yeah, it's definitely a more modern stadium. Definitely, you can see the difference between that and like Dodger Stadium. You could tell the scenery of it. I'm not gonna lie, I like, you know, we were sitting up in like their version of Top Deck. And it um, wasn't bad. Yeah, the, the view behind it is actually pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Just having the city skyline like right behind, overlooking the, the stadium is actually really nice. I gotta give that to them. But we gotta get to the food. We were pleasantly surprised. I was very impressed by the food as far as quantity, as far as quality, and as far as pricing. Yeah. Everybody knows when you go to Dodger Stadium, you gotta pay an arm and a leg in order to feed yourself well there. And drink. Yeah, like I said, they charge everything separate. Last time I went to a Dodger game, burger separate, fries separate, soda separate. Five million dollars. <laughs> like I said, marketing wise, I get it, like trying to get the most money out of you, but damn bro, yeah. Use your wallet hurt, bro. What about Petco? I ordered the burger with the fries. It comes with it. And the tenders with the fries. It comes with the two. And a drink. And I spent less than 40 bucks. Think about that. Two full meals. Less than 40 bucks. Less than 40 At bucks. an arena. And the quantity. When we told you guys that we ordered all of that and we couldn't even fill it, finish all the wedges. Like yeah, they, the amount of. It was wedges too, not fries. Wedges. So you know, he they was said already. fries when they gave it to us. It was a stack of wedges. So Pedro was on top of the world at that Best time. Believe. There was only like one complaint that we would have. One or two. But I feel like for you, it would only be one. Mm -hmm. What would that be? The fucking onion in the burger, bro. Happened onion. I'm not gonna lie, we're not even exaggerating when they probably cut up half the onion and just put that in the burger. Like it sticks out. Whoever eats the burger most of the time, you know, you get your piece of onion and it's in there. Yeah, you usually no, you bite into it and they're like, oh, there's onion in this. Yeah. This one is freaking This heavy. one is like, they didn't even bother cutting it's it up. It's the size of the patty, bro. Yeah. Like. It was that many, like layer after layer. Like when I put my finger in and took everything out, my whole finger was like, it was gone. a slinky, bro. Yeah, onion. it was a slinky, literally. Like I said, the food was good. The amount that they gave us for the amount that we paid, yeah. you can't beat that, and it honestly beats Dodgers. It beats Dodgers. It beats Dodgers. Yeah. Sorry to say, but other than the food, fuck the Padres. Fuck them. After eating five different corn dogs, some tater tots, mm -hmm. and some half water slushies, <laughs> yeah, man, ready to spread some more knowledge. I guess you could say. This is Page of Thoughts. I have a question out here for my faithful people that are with someone like clearly toxic. The one where you try to do everything right, but you still, you know, they still make your life impossible. They're not happy with anything you do. What's the point of being faithful if you're gonna get accused of it anyways? Just give them the reason already. It's better for everyone. Amen. All right, guys, so we're at that point now where we got to give our rating and our favorite dish. Pedro, what's it going to be? I'll give it a four. Okay. Again, we didn't just discuss this in the, in the front in the beginning, but we got a cheese one. We got, you know, the beef ones, but there was more options, too. You could go half and half, like half cheddar, half mozzarella. Yeah. I think they have like a spicy dog now, if I'm correct. So the variety of it, I like. Again, I, I didn't like everything on it, but you know, that comes with territory. I wasn't gonna like everything. There's a little bit of something for everyone. But I would say my favorite one would be the, the first one, the potato one. Oh, wow. If it would've been- The mozzarella been, one? Yeah, like again, if it would've been with beef, I would've enjoyed that too. How about yours? I mean, I'm there. It would be a four. It's nothing amazing. Honestly, if you wanna try something new, be spontaneous. Like, let's say you're in a relationship and you wanna go on like a, on a spontaneous date or something and be like, hey, let's go try this. I think it would be like a cool place to go visit. Date ideas. But yeah, it's gonna be a four for me. And my favorite one, 
Um, I would say it's uh, the third one. I don't know which one that was I'm called. Assuming that's like the original or some shit. Was it? It wasn't the bean one, and it was not the <laughs> the kicks one. So that one, or honestly, the spicy one. Like I said, it's definitely a place that we would recommend. And like our page just said, it's got many different options as well, where it got so many different combinations. And like I said, we got five of them, and there's seven different ones. Overall grade is gonna be right up there. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. If you guys aren't following all of our social medias, please do so. The link is gonna be right there in the description as well. One, we're trying to get affiliated on Twitch. Two, we're trying to grow on TikTok, Absolutely. et cetera, et cetera. Please go ahead and go follow our Twitter because uh, that's the one that we really wanna talk to more people with. Cause like I said, Twitter is one of the more fun apps to, to just interact with people. So yeah guys, thank you once again. We'll catch you guys next week.